in this video we will be upgrading firmware on the iGro 100 series 400 and 800 controllers now to do this we will follow our four-step process we will one retrieve your current firmware version two safe configuration three upgrade the firmware and four restore the configuration now to retrieve your current firmware version you would do the following from the home screen you would hit OK then you would go to system setup then you would go to advanced setup and then you would hit unit info button number four now on the screen you can see the version number as well as the firmware your firmware will either be M or C or VCM or VCS and the current version is 1.0.2.2 now our version here is 1.0.1.1 which needs to be upgraded hit the home button and we want to save our configuration now to save it we'll hit OK and we'll go to system setup and we'll go to save and restore number two save and restore config now you want to go ahead and insert your USB in the back of the controller on the USB port farthest away from the back of the board and once you have it inserted you want to go ahead and save your configuration to the USB and for this example we'll use I as our safe configuration and hit OK now to confirm that this configuration has in fact been saved just go ahead and hit restore configuration from USB and as you can see our I configuration that we saved is right there populated on the screen so we have our configuration now it's time to update our firmware so next we want to go ahead and get our firmware and there's two ways to get firmware you can either go to our link for website highlight the support tab and click firmware downloads now on this screen there are four types of current 100 series firmware note to avoid problems it's vital you load your iGrow 400 with 400 firmware and 800 with 800 firmware when downloading from this website just simply click the version you need a zip file would come down and you want to open the zip file and remove the bin file from the zip file and simply place it on your desktop another way is to simply call support and we can email you your firmware file as well and just place it on the desktop when you get it now once you get the file you will need a USB preferably one that's been reformatted empty or even new open this USB and you will create a folder and name the folder PRG next you will insert your bin file into the PRG folder and the file has to be in the PRG folder in order for the controller to recognize the process you're initiating and updating firmware is what you're trying to initiate so once you confirm that this bin file is in the PRG folder and they're both on the USB stick pull your USB from PC and insert it on the USB port on the controller farthest away from the back side of the control board and now we're ready to upgrade now to update your uh, firmware simply hit OK system setup and then we want to go to advanced setup number 10 and then we want to begin bootload and begin bootload yes and right now our bootload is initiating found the file it's got a valid checksum and our write is complete and now our firmware has in fact been upgraded to 1.0.2.2 and now that it's upgraded you want to simply restore the configuration 
and go ahead and hit OK. Go to System Setup. Go to Save and Restore. Save and Restore Config. Restore the Config from USB and we want to restore our iConfig. Hit OK and hit the Home button. And we have our settings. And that's our video in updating firmware with the iGirl 100 series 400 and 800 controller.